Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chandra Snoria for some more leaks and rumors. Let's declare today the Galaxy Note 9 day as we have tons of leaks about the device and they are very exciting as the Note 9 is just around the corner. So first of all, we have a tweet from a well-reputed Twitter leakster, Ice Universe, saying that the Bixby 2.0 is more worth looking forward to than the Note 9. And the Bixby 2.0 is going to be very different than the original Bixby. Another tweet from him tells us that the Bixby 2.0 is a combination between Bixby and Web. The original Bixby could do a lot by itself. But if you know about Web, you know that it is even greater. Those of you who don't know what Web is, let me show you a glimpse of Web demo from 2016. Was it raining in Seattle three Thursdays ago? Right, so great weather underground to the rescue again. But as you can see, Viv has a much stronger understanding. Will it be warmer than 70 degrees near the Golden Gate Bridge after 5 p.m. the day after tomorrow? Okay, so this is a pretty sophisticated query. Very few assistants in the world do stuff like this, but this is- So as you saw, they were pretty great and that was in 2016. The technology would have only grown from there. We also have leaks that the Galaxy Note 9 will bring along some new icons and finally a AI powered user interface. More great news for the Galaxy Note enthusiasts is that the Galaxy Note 9 will bring a greater heat dissipation with the right side of the device covered with copper tubes. And for the lovers of super slow motion videos, the Galaxy Note 9 will be able to shoot 960 FPS videos for 0.4 seconds, extending them to 12 seconds in total, which is just double of what the Galaxy S9 could do. Just imagine how much more detail the phone will be able to capture. And more features of the Galaxy Note 9, we have a list of features of what the S Pen will be able to do. So the S Pen will be able to control your music. For example, by pressing the S Pen button, you might be able to play or pause music. You will be able to use S Pen as a remote camera shutter button. So you will click on the S Pen button and it will click a picture for you. Great for selfies. It can also be used to unlock your device if the S Pen was removed before locking the device. This feature I feel will be a security risk for the phone. We'll just have to wait and see. And the rest of the features are from older Note series. So those were some great features. We also have renders of the lilac purple Galaxy Note 9. And the color looks very unflattering to me. And coupled with the camera layout also being the same color, it is just abysmal. At least it should have been black. There is a whole tweet from Ice Universe about how horrible it looks and how asymmetrical it is. And I totally agree. We have poster leaks of the Galaxy Note 9. Apparently, the Note 928 GB edition will ship with a price tag of 977 USD. And the colossal 512 GB edition will ship with a price tag of 1210 USD. That is some steep pricing. But these prices are for South Korea. And the Samsung devices are always a bit more expensive there. Lastly, we have leaks of the Google Pixel 3 XL in white color. And the device looks much more beautiful than the last year's Pixel 2 XL. And it seems that the device has a notch. And the notch is a bit weird as it is as wide as OnePlus 6 is, but somehow it is longer. Nevertheless, Google Pixels are one of the best devices out. So guys, that's all I have for you today. Do let me know down in the comments, are you waiting for the Galaxy Note 9 or the Google Pixel 3? I hope you like this video and if you're new here, please subscribe to this channel and do follow me on Instagram as well. This is Chetanesh Nuria, signing off.